Okay, for demonstration purposes, uh, we're hung between a fence post and my truck. Uh, what uh, I thought I might do is I promised to give a, a demo on the, the Z-Liner and the installation, uh, but here I thought, you know, I haven't seen one yet, so I thought I'd give maybe a little demo. Some people have said how, uh, how long it takes to put these, uh, these rods in. So I thought I'd maybe give a demo on that, and you can judge for yourself. I mean, it might take a little bit of time, uh, but really it's not that hard. I just put uh, two of them together to start with. That way it's a little more manageable. I don't have to hang on to the other ones, but I am. And I kind of just stuff it all through, get it in there, come back here, grab the third one, put it in place. Just kind of feed everything through, make sure it's working off all okay and I lost an end. I'll have to find that later I guess. That's a drag. <laughs> That's the only the first time I saw a post once about somebody lost an end and I've never lost an end in all the times I've done this and here it is I think I, when I knocked it out of the tube there I was uh, not paying attention I was thinking about what I was uh, gonna do for the video and I wasn't paying attention normally I'm paying really close attention. Anyways I'll find it after. I'm not going to lay in it, so it ain't going to matter for now. Anyway, so that's not too bad. Uh, we're not hung exactly right. Uh, this uh, weather shield, if it was hung properly, would probably look a little bit more like that. Anyways, for the, our purposes today, that's that. Um, the Z-Liner. Uh, what I like to do is, if I'm installing the Z-Liner, I just uh, put the rods in. I flip it upside down like that. And I grab the foot end, like this. And I just start the installation in one corner and I kind of just pull it like this, make sure it's, uh, there's no wrinkles and that it is actually lined up. Uh, what I tend to do is once I've got it installed, it stays installed and it doesn't come apart for the whole winter. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to do this for you. It's going to be, look a little awkward maybe, uh, uh, being that I'm kind of just doing it for you here. I'm not standing on the side I should be in order to do this, but I can lay it in here pretty quickly. And I'm not getting it perfect. Like I say, I would be normally on the other side doing this, drawing it towards myself. sake of the camera. Keep everything tight. Keep the bottom tight. You don't have that much hold it. All the parts just stay lined up here. And uh, if it uh, messes up, you can always just yank it apart and get it back together again. Uh, if I had a camera operator, I'd have them come in close for this. You just wrap it around the end and do that. And bingo, that's the foot end done. Now, what we do is uh, we take these here pads. Um, they loft up about an inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half or whatever. Not a whole lot. You can see here uh, that there's uh, two different sizes. You got four that are the one size for the, uh, for the four pockets near the head. And then uh, near your uh, bottom end here, you got the two uh, wider ones. And you just take those off there. We'll put the wider ones in first at the foot end here. And basically you can stuff them right in. There's two ways you can do it, I guess. One, you stuff it in, you line up the corner there. And you kind of just line that up and bring it in and seal it real nice. And then you bring the pocket and you seal it like that again. Um, I put one of the smaller ones in. What you could also do is, you could also just, uh, how was I doing that? Anyways, you can just kind of come in here like this, get it started with the, with the pad hanging out, side, and then bingo, just stuff it in there like that. Like I say, once they're in there for the year, or for the winter, they just stay in. And uh, they pack up in the bag 
pretty decently. Got some kids playing over there. Hopefully they're not gonna. I don't know if you can hear them or not. I think the Velcro seals it nice so that no air gets in there. And uh, <laughs> I should have practiced once uh, for the video, maybe. But uh, this is a good old honest uh, uh, first shoot, first take. You know, it's, I'm not spending a whole lot of time doing this. Uh, I'm just kind of showing you, you know, if I was out in the bush or whatever. And it wasn't done, so I had it all packed up separately for whatever reason. So, well, anyways, everything works. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, what I also have here is I have some pads that I uh, made myself. Oh, I've had a couple people ask me, I guess, about those. I'll get them up, show them to you. So first of all, what I do have is uh, I have this pad for the foot end, um, which is kind of basically the basic shape. And it would fit on the inside of the, uh, of the what we got here. I won't put that in for now. these I have a wide one here for the foot end you can see it's got about two two and a half inch here of thickness this is the the, the dimension of the pocket uh, it uh, I think I made them just a tad bigger so they would fluff it all out real good and so basically um, I'll do this upside down I don't normally do that but I would take uh, with this being flipped the right way I would take the pad out. I would stuff this one in. Maybe I will do it uh, the way I'd normally do it, just so you can see it here. That's the bottom end. Good. Um, what I wanted to do was I wanted to have some Velcro on here. I don't know now that I don't have it. I don't know that it's all that important. It all seems to kind of hold quite well in there. And I just kind of spread it out there. These are uh, have just a standard quilting uh, about a three-quarter inch quilting uh, stuffing material and I just put like four layers or whatever in there and uh, it all comes out pretty good so then I just take that and I'll, I'll stuff that in and these z-liner pads are large enough that I can just make when I spread it out I can almost tuck it around the edges all the way around and then that fluffs up pretty nice, like that. And if I had them all in, it would all oh, these would be quite fluffy. Um, this one here, I do have Velcro on it, but I haven't even finished sewing it yet. Um, I just kind of got started. I, 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 I did this, and then I just, it was a lot of work. I should have uh, Velcroed it on. I should have sewn the Velcro on uh, at a different stage in the making of this. And then it would have... Uh, been a little easier, but the way it turned out it was a little tougher to do. Um, put the Velcro on afterwards. So, how this would work. Stuff it in there, get it all lined up. Pretty quick and easy. And you could just line this up on there. I think it would work better if it was all sewn. Also, if I think the Velcro tends to help to keep the air out. I'll be up there a little better. So it's done right. That's all. Now the Z-liner, I just, like I say, I tuck it around the edges, flatten it out, and then sort of scooch it around the sides and the edges. And bingo, there you have it. Um, I'm not all in, but you can see it's very fluffy. Uh, I've, I had this with a sleeping bag uh, to minus 13 uh, C, 
whatever that is. I think a minus 11 and minus 11 Fahrenheit and Celsius is the same. I don't know. I can't remember. Anyways, I had it to minus 13 C and I was too warm. So uh, there you have it. I can't think of uh, what else I should do or say right now. So I'll try to get this up. I don't have much software editing, so we'll just uh, do a start to finish. And there you have it.